Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video, Anthony Edwards is beginning really big hype. So I wanted to see this video where Jeremy Highroller talks about Anthony Edwards being the next Michael Jordan to see if it's accurate or not. So we're gonna you know dive into this, but hey, for more reaction videos like this, make sure to like the video and I have the original video link down in the description below. Hey, let's begin. One of the best things that can happen to a young basketball player in their career is get compared to Michael Jordan. One of the worst things that can happen to a young player in their career is get compared to Michael Jordan. For every player that gets compared to MJ and is successful and in the NBA, job. there's five more who fall a mile short and make the comparison seem blasphemous in the first place. Anthony Edwards is the latest player added to this list of hopeful Jordan successors. Only yeah. this time, it feels real. I mean, the memes and the jokes were funny at first, but now this is just getting uncanny. The highlights, the trash talking, the swagger, the charisma, being compared to the best player to ever touch a basketball is an impossible task for any player to live up to. And yet, we can't help but to make the comparison. So, how similar is Anthony Edwards to a young Michael Jordan? Is this comparison even warranted? Or is this gold standard still as unattainable and unrealistic as ever? It would be a lot for him to be, because Michael Jordan had it outstanding start to his career and Anthony Edwards his first year wasn't as I mean he started playing well towards the end of the year but his first year he was kind of like ah um, he started getting better and better but to be a Michael Jordan level player I think you have to start off on some like a1 type stuff so today's video is sponsored by DraftKings with the NBA playoffs heating up uh, it's time to bring the hoops action to the parlay or SGPX on any wager and get $150 sports book. Yeah, was making a name for himself. In, in 1995, a young guard from California was making a name for himself in the basketball world. As a junior oh. in college, the kid was considered by some to be the best college basketball player in the country. And with his six foot five inch all in one shooting guard package, it was only a matter of time before the infamous comparison to Michael Jordan was made. Later on, we would learn that despite his incredible skill set and Hall of Fame pedigree, the Michael Jordan comp was this? never really warranted. You might be familiar with this player. His name was Ray Allen. And looking back, oh, he was gonna, he was outside of playing Jordan? the same position, there wasn't much nah, he, he not and Michael MJ Jordan had in common. Good but player, this though. wasn't the first and surely not the last time a player received a Jordan comp. In 1986, Ron Harper might have been the first player to ever be called the next Michael Jordan. The closest Harper ever got to Jordan was playing with him. Harold Miner was compared heavily to Jordan Remember coming him? out of USC in 1992. One season and a bad injury later, Miner would become a cautionary tale for anyone eager to dub a player as the next Michael Jordan. This did not stop people from dubbing players as the next Michael Jordan. In 1993, Penny Hardaway received the comp. The next year, nah, it nah, was Grant Hill. It. A couple years nah. after that, it was Jerry Stackhouse. In nah, 1997, Vince Carter up. was named the next Michael Jordan. Okay. And this time around, it actually felt like it might become a real thing. A six foot six inch high flying shooting guard out of North Carolina. That sounds awfully familiar. But despite putting together a Hall of Fame career, Vince Carter, just like every player He's that came Michael before Jordan him, was in fact not Canada. the next Michael Jordan. Around the turn of the century, it was Kobe Bryant who was That's next up next as Michael Jordan's Jordan. successor. Jordan was out of the NBA by now, and the league was in desperate search of a new poster child. Kobe Bryant came just in the nick of time. Kobe said he modeled his game after MJ, a statement That's that, that seemed Michael like Jordan. a far-fetched attempt to draw comparisons to the greatest player of all time from a 19-year-old kid. But with every passing season, Kobe hadn't just become like Mike. He became a carbon copy of Mike. 20 years later, Kobe Bryant built a legacy of his own, but he still remains the closest thing we have ever seen to Jordan. Since yeah. then, there's been a few more ill-advised next Michael Jordans. LeBron has been compared to Michael to the extent that you can't say one of their names in a sentence without mentioning but the other. Not, Dwayne Wade generated not, Jordan comps yeah. after his championship run in 2006, mm -hmm. but that's about it. After two decades of attempting to find the next Michael Jordan, the basketball world settled into the fact that maybe the next Michael Jordan didn't exist. It's Kobe. And even worse, giving a young kid the comparison was almost a curse that would mentally handicap them from becoming their own player. 
After LeBron in the mid-2000s, it became this sort of unwritten rule to compare any player to Michael Jordan. Not only because it usually didn't make any sense, but because the track record of Jordan's successors was looking pretty bleak. Oddly enough, most players who received the comp didn't actually play or act or At look all. or carry themselves like Mike. Only they Kobe. were just really good, sort of, kind of like Mike. Which brings us to today and this guy, who is the first player in about 15 years to be tagged with the infamous next Michael Jordan label. I mean, come on. We all see it. The similarities are striking, but due to the history of this comparison, no one wanted to be the first to actually say it. But in the midst of the postseason Front run he is putting me. together right now, we're all thinking the same thing. Anthony Edwards reminds us of Michael Jordan. And this time, we don't need to be baited into this comparison or hastily rushed into it. Ant is shoving the comp into our faces every time he steps on the court. The high-flying acrobatics, the overwhelming scoring barrages and lightning quick first step, the cutthroat trash talk, the irrevocable confidence, even the commercials, the energy, the charisma. Where others seem to always be leaving one or two boxes unchecked, Anthony Edwards pretty much checks them all. Some does, does, does he check them all? Do y'all think he checks all the boxes? Um, yeah, he's playing really great though in this postseason. But yeah, I mean, you gotta, I mean, you don't have to win a championship soon because Michael took a while, but. Take a lot, even man. saying he looks like MJ, which he doesn't, but for the sake of fun, we'll let them run with that. According to Chris Broussard, who reached out to Jordan earlier this season, even Michael Jordan said he sees the similarities between himself and Anthony Edwards. Well, I reached out to the GOAT today, oh, Michael Jordan, and Jordan drop. said there are similarities in their games. He agreed. Oh, so yeah, I mean, it, yeah. Jordan said there's similarities. I'm not saying he's there's the next. He's saying there are similarities. And in many interviews over the past year, Edwards has addressed the comparison, stating, although he can't deny it and he sees the similarities, he would rather it all just stop. But when you're doing the things Ant is doing right now, how could we possibly help ourselves? Now, Edwards has only played in 18 career playoff games, not enough to crack any all-time NBA postseason leaderboards. But we can see how Ant stacks up against MJ through his first 18 playoff games, Let's get where it. despite Ant being historically great, Michael Jordan is still in a completely different tier of his own. Bro, 38 points per game in your first 18 playoff games, bro? 38 points per game is insane. True shooting is higher. Block BPM, that's not blocks per game, or blocks per minute. I don't know. Um, usage rate has a higher usage rate. So if the usage rate's higher, maybe. Um, but yeah, I mean, and got more wins. He scored more, rebounded more, made more assists. Pretty much every metric outside of shooting efficiency, Mike was on another level. Michael had a far worse team to start his playoff career, which probably led to him being required the, um, to do more on the, the court. Celtics. But there is no denying that he is still the gold standard, even from the very beginning of his career. And this is where a lot of people get caught up in this whole comparison. Ant is incredible. He's what the NBA needs right now. But Michael Jordan was pretty unanimously the best player in the NBA by his third season. And by his fourth season, he had already made an all-defensive team, multiple all-NBA teams, one defensive player of the year, and a league MVP. Anthony Edwards is great, but he is projected to make an All-NBA team for the first time this year in his fourth season in the it league. In How could we like, possibly man, compare a young Jordan, star who is just now ascending to superstar status to the greatest player of all time? According to Basketball Reference's similarity score metric, the most similar player to Michael Jordan throughout Ooh. NBA history was Oscar Robertson. But this metric only considers the shape and quality of a player's career, not how they actually played or their skill set. If we refer to Crafted NBA's historical similarity app, which factors in everything a player does on the court, from their defense to their offense to their efficiency and creation and everything in between, the closest thing to Michael Jordan in year four was Tell Clyde me. Drexler in 1988 followed by a That's bunch of Kobe and Dwayne Wade seasons. If we limit our- Clyde is very underrated. Very underrated player. Um, obviously, Michael Jordan being the best shooting guard clearly in the league is going to underrate you and him being in you know Portland, Clyde Drexler being in Portland. But Clyde was a really, he's a really good player. Our list of eligible candidates down to the pace and space era or the last 10 NBA seasons. Then the most similar player to MJ 
is actually 2015 Jimmy Butler. Followed That's by Oladipo weird. in 2016, <laughs> Jimmy Butler, Shea Gilgis I don't know Alexander about, I mean, in maybe 2020, play style? and Bradley Beal in 2018. Anthony Edwards doesn't even crack this list until the 7th and 8th spots with his 2022 and 2023 seasons. So again, why now and why him of all players to resurrect this next MJ tag? Well, because being good and even playing a similar game is just a sliver of what makes Anthony Edwards like Mike. In terms of play style, Ant is probably closer to a young Dwayne Wade yeah. than he is to Jordan. Definitely. And I think most fans are aware of this. But for a lot of fans, it's not that Anthony Edwards plays exactly like a young Michael Jordan. It's that he makes us feel the same way a young Michael Jordan made fans feel 35 years ago. He doesn't just put together crazy dunks. He electrifies the crowd and gets us on our feet. The kind of moments that leave you and your buddies buzzing about long after the game is over. He doesn't just take over games. He talks trash while he's doing it. And he's got a pretty solid track record of backing it up. He's not just a part of a winning team. At just 22 years old, he is leading a winning team. He's not just really good. He's hungry and he's driven and his larger than life character and skill set and very likable man. He's, he's a guy that you want to root in the for, biggest sure. moments, even off the court, his mannerisms, mentality and personality have Jordan written all over it. Being incredible. You know, on the he, he seemed like he got plot like he has a personality that I feel like, you know, a lot of players, like, you know, they have no plot like they don't win nothing They They fail consistently, but he looked like a guy that. He has a personality to look like he wins. Like he's pushed well enough, in my opinion, that I feel like he's gonna win a championship. And maybe this year, game seven, by the time you watch this video, game seven is probably either finished completely or it's happening. And he may lose, he may win, but regardless, he's doing his thing. The court isn't the defining factor that provokes MJ comps with Edwards. In fact, even before Ant was dropping jaws on a contending team, many scouts and analysts made note of how eerily similar Edwards was to a young Jordan, dating all the way back to 2021 and long before we knew he would be this special. Saying Anthony Edwards reminds us of Jordan isn't saying we think he's going to win six titles or be the greatest player of all time. It's saying that we saw Michael Jordan play and now we're seeing Anthony Edwards play and the similarities are just staring us in the face. Now one thing I know for certain is that people who watched Michael Jordan play are the last people on earth to say anyone plays or resembles Jordan in any way. I mean, the guy is referred to as Black Jesus to some former players for crying out loud. So even when former players begin to come out and rave about the similarities between him and Anthony Edwards, you can bet the comparison is as warranted as it's ever been. See, not every player that garnered a Michael Jordan comparison is similar to the next. There are players that play like Jordan, the footwork, the mid-range game, getting to the rim. There's players that act like Jordan, the psychotic Kobe, competitors. There's Jimmy, the players yeah. that move like Jordan, the freak athletes. LeBron's and then there's players who got athlete. compared to MJ for almost no other reason besides the fact that they were really good. There have been many players to fulfill one, two, Maybe three I know Westbrook's of probably in that, in that freak athlete but part. No one I know they were has comparing ever Westbrook quite lived up to all four. And Jordan. Here's an overly complicated Definitely diagram the of these though. proclaimed Jordan successors, okay. which boxes they checked, and where. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, so plays like Mike got DeMar DeRozan. Uh, I assume it's Harold Miner, and I don't know. They're not that relevant right now. Really good. So no comparison. They're just really good players. Shea been compared to him. Interesting. Um, plays like Jordan, and he's good. Who, who who's not good or like plays like and good so it's just him um so there's no one who just acts like him's like just acts like mike don't have no skill like mike and i was we just acts like him that's interesting uh plays like good and acts like so kobe and jimmy what's everything what's the everything we're missing freak athlete okay um dwayne wade this looks like plays likes good freak athlete good and freak athlete I think this might be like bias. Derrick Rose, LeBron, Tracy, Vince, freak athlete just exclusively. Uh, this is Ron Harper, I believe. Zach, Andrew Wiggins. Good acts like and freak athlete. Whoever's right here, that's dope. <laughs> this is a great place to be um, and everything. Okay. Fell short. Players that acted like him, the freak athletes, players who were really good, and everything in between. Grant Hill, Allen Iverson, and Penny Hardaway got Jordan comparisons early on. 
but outside of just being really good, they didn't really have anything in common with MJ. Mm. DeRozan, Harold Miner, and Jerry Stackhouse oh, played Jerry like Stackhouse. Jordan, okay. but they weren't quite the freak athlete that Jordan was. On the other end, Zach Levine, Andrew Wiggins, and Ron Harper were freak athletes early in their careers, but that alone should have never been enough evidence to deem them the next Michael Jordan. But when Wiggins you pair some of these well. attributes together, we'll start to find players who came closer to the Jordan comparison. LeBron, McGrady, Vince, Derrick Rose, and Len Bias were all freak athletes who were really good, but they didn't really play like Jordan, and they weren't psychotic with their approach on winning. Kawhi Leonard plays like Jordan, and he's really good, but he's an emotional robot with a 29-inch vert. Which mm. leaves us with three players who have probably come closer to the Jordan comp than anyone else since Jordan's departure from the Butler league. Was Dwayne Jordan's Wade, who too. had a fairly similar game to Jordan, was really good and was a freak athlete. And Kobe Bryant and Jimmy Butler, who play like Jordan, were and are really good respectively, and are both cutthroat competitors like Jordan was. But that's about as close as you're gonna get. It's a freak athlete. Because Jimmy Butler isn't a freak athlete, and neither was Kobe. In fact, Kobe was often praised for making the most of his abilities, despite not being nearly the athlete Jordan was. And amongst all of these players and attributes, right now, Anthony Edwards is probably right about here. Okay. He acts like Jordan, he's a freak athlete, and he's really good. But he doesn't really play all that much like Michael did. Yeah. There's definitely flashes of a young MJ in his game, with his ability to play above the rim, blow past defenders with a lightning quick first step, and of course the mind-melting posters. But just like everyone else that came before him, there are, of course, differences that separate Anthony Edwards from a young Michael Jordan. With that being said, these few well, differences Skywalker, aren't but... nearly enough to beat the allegations of similarities. Some people have mentioned that they never saw MJ play live, but watching Ant might be what it must have felt like. Fans that did watch MJ play testify that it was in fact just like this. With a generation of megastars entering the last stages of their Twilight, careers, get these old fans heads of out. the NBA have been speculating who the new face of the league might be. And there's a lot of great candidates. Maybe it's Tatum or Luka. Him. It was Maybe. looking like it might be Ja Morant for a moment, no, but the off-court issues have stunted that option. SGA put up a Jordan-esque no. stat line this year, so maybe it's him. No. Jokic has been the best player in the league really for good, the last few I years, he could be the but face. I'm not sure if anyone would consider him the face of the NBA. Because being the face of the best basketball league in the world is about more than just being the best player in the league. True. You need charisma, marketability. You need to resonate with the masses. You need to put together big moments and absurd highlights that inspire even non-NBA fans. We want to know that you love the game just as much as we do. Commercials and endorsements, candid and endearing interviews that connect with the fans, a no-excuse workhorse mentality with a superhuman set of skills to contrast it, Kobe Bryant only won one MVP in his 20-year career, Just but crazy, he was the man. face of the NBA for about a decade. LeBron carried the torch for the majority of some of our lives, and despite not being the best player in the world anymore, he's still probably the face of the league. He Steph is. was as likable and relatable and inspiring Main as a characters. superstar can get. A very unexpected but revered face of the NBA for many years. Anthony Edwards looks like he might just be the next player to grab the torch and lead the league into a new era. The kid's got the whole package. His team loves him, the league loves him, the fans love him. Maybe because he ignites us, inspires us, and reminds us of why we all love the game. But maybe it's also because he reminds us of a player who did all of those things years ago. He can't guard me. Yeah, dope video, dope video. Um, yeah, they play... And if Anthony wins, that would be the guy. If he loses, though, I still I think you know losing in seven to the defending champ. If he does lose, it's also not bad as well, right? Like that's definitely a honorable way to go. Um, but I can't wait to see what happens. And hey, Anthony, keep doing your thing. Maybe become a main character in Minnesota. Minnesota crazy market to do that, but still, it's still good because they putting a small market team on the map is always more impressive than doing anything with a big market team or joining any super team. So keep doing your thing, and hopefully, maybe you become the next Michael Jordan. And for more content like this, make sure to like this video. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so come and join the factory. And, hey, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video, and I'm out of here. Peace.